If you're building a SaaS app, you might be thinking that adding Stripe subscription will be quick and easy. I thought so too. For one of my first clients, he wanted to build an event management SaaS app where the users of this website would be able to pay a monthly subscription to use the app. I thought I can just use Stripe. It's popular, it's big, it'll be easy to implement. But I quickly realized that it doesn't handle a lot of the business logic needed for your application to work and I had to manually build this into the website. My name's David and I'm a freelance web developer. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the four main edge cases that you need to consider when building your subscription-based app. So the first consideration is the trial period. It's pretty standard for SaaS apps to give a free trial period so users can try out the application before paying for it. But here is what you have to take into account. Do you want the users to enter in their credit card information at the beginning of the trial period and will automatically be charged at the end of the trial period? Or you allow them to sign up without entering their credit card and at the end of the trial period, they have to enter in their credit card to continue. Each way has its pros and cons and you must decide what's best for your app. So you have a user that has a credit card on file that gets charged a monthly subscription. But what happens if that payment fails? Stripe doesn't handle this automatically. So you have to build custom logic to handle this scenario. Do you wanna send a reminder? Do you want to give them a grace period? Do you want to cancel their subscription after X amount of days? These are scenarios that you need to consider for your subscription-based app. If your SaaS app has multiple tiers, how do you wanna handle upgrades and downgrades? If you upgrade, do you wanna prorate the cost and charge immediately and give them instant access? Or you can reset to a new billing cycle when they upgrade. If they're downgrade, do they lose all their premium features now or at the end of the billing cycle? These are the things you need to consider. The same concept also applies for cancellation. If someone cancels, do you want to end their subscription immediately or do you want to end it at the end of their billing cycle? If you end it at the billing cycle, they might need the option to reactivate their subscription before that billing cycle ends. So those are the four main scenarios that you need to consider in your SaaS app. The trial period, if a payment fails, the upgrades and downgrades, and if someone cancels. If you have an idea for an application and you need help building it, I'm currently taking on new projects. Fill out the form below and we can see if we're a good fit for each other. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.